Hey everybody, Ashton here with Gen Sense with another fragrance review. So today we're going to be taking a look at a fragrance from the house of Gallivant. I've seen reviews from this house for Istanbul and Tel Aviv. Each one of their fragrances is based off of a different travel location. But the fragrance that really intrigued me was Brooklyn. And anytime that you see Brooklyn, what do you think of? Yeah, basically that. But yeah, we're taking a look at Brooklyn from the House of Gallivant. Stick with me. All right, let's go ahead and check out this presentation. We'll take a look at the bottle first. It's a 30 mil, one ounce bottle. Do not pick this up by the cap because it is plastic. It is not uh, clicked into place and it's not snug enough that you won't drop it. So don't do that unless you wanna break your bottle. The atomizer is actually quite nice. It sprays out a controlled amount of juice. You have the name of the fragrance and house on the front. There's nothing doing on the rest of the bottle. On the bottom, you have a sticker and the badge code is actually printed on the bottle right there. All right, so this is a slip cover. I've already removed it, so you don't have to see me messing with that on camera. It looks pretty nice. It's like a map of the city here. You have the name of the fragrance, concentration and size, name of the house. On the top, you have this paper airplane, which is the Gallivant symbol. On the back, you have a description of the fragrance, how to get in touch with the company if you want to do so. And on the bottom, the ingredients and batch code. So the box resembles a lot of other niche companies' boxes in that you lift like so, and the fragrance sits down inside there. Again, you have that paper airplane symbol and on top of the box as well. There's nothing doing on the sides, and it says Gallivant on the front and the back. That is the presentation for Brooklyn. I've been dealing with a little bit of a head cold over the last few days, so I'm sorry if I sound different. This opens up with a blast of citrus. There's orange, bergamot, and lemon. The main citrus note that I get of those three is the orange. Now it's not an ultra realistic orange like you'll find in Atelier Cologne, Orange Sanguine, or anything like that. This is more of a creamy orange. And that's because you can pick out the benzoin in this fragrance right off the top along with that citrus. So there's that little bit of resin, uh, that kind of balsamic feel that you get. And that combines with the citrus to give that orange kind of a creamy undertone. As you hit the mid, Iris starts to creep into the composition more. Iris is probably best known for being in Diorome and Diorome Intense. The Iris in Brooklyn though is not as in your face. It's not as hardcore, it's not as lipsticky. It's toned down and comes across a little bit more nuanced instead of coming across uh, heavy. There's also a magnolia note that lends a little bit of a, a floral feel. That's in the background, uh, but it does lend a tiny bit of complexity to the fragrance. Now the citrus starts to die down 30 to 45 minutes in, that creamy orange starts to kind of fade away. In the dry down, you have amber that mixes in with the resins and the iris. It's not as thick as that sounds. It's not like a winter scent that's really heavy or anything like that, but it is, again, a little bit balsamic. The fragrance comes across as a fully unisex scent. It's one that if you smell it on a guy, you'll be like, yeah, I could see that being a, a men's scent. And if you smell it on a woman, you'd be like, yeah, that works well on a woman. Uh, it just kind of plays both sides of the field. Spring, summer, and early fall are when this is best suited, in my opinion. It's not something, though, that I would reach for in high heat, uh, so I wouldn't wear it right in the middle of summer. It would kind of be a fragrance that's best from spring into early summer, and then late summer into early fall. Projections go for the first hour or so, then it starts to sit a little closer to the skin. Longevity-wise, you're looking at about six hours, maybe more, depending on how good your skin does with fragrances. And as always, if you want a little bit of a boost as far as longevity goes, you can just spray it on your clothes instead of on your skin. A lot of you out there are aware that I really like Guerlain Lome Ideal Cologne. This doesn't smell the same as Lome Ideal Cologne, uh, but it kind of reminds me of it a little bit. And the reason is, each one of those fragrances have notes that you wouldn't necessarily think of as warm weather uh, fragrance notes. Uh, for example, Low Medial Cologne has almond, and Brooklyn has iris, benzoin, and amber, which really doesn't leap out at you and say, wear this in warm weather. But it works. Uh, this is maybe a little bit more daring than something like Low Medial Cologne. Now, this is not like a crazy daring fragrance or anything like that, but I would say it's a couple steps removed from the uh, 
the universal kind of appeal that something like low medial cologne is gonna have. Age range wise, this comes across as something that's better for somebody 25 years and older. Now it wouldn't be completely out of place on somebody younger than that, it's just not something that comes across necessarily as really youthful. For me, the best part of Brooklyn is the opening. It's a really nice creamy citrus, and I really like when it transitions from that opening into the mid. The dry down is still nice. It's not a disappointment. It's not something where you spray it on and you like the opening and then it dries down and you go like, oh, this sucks. And it's not something that completely disappears either. So it's not a letdown at any point during the composition. I just prefer the opening to the dry down. So yeah, that's Brooklyn by Gallivant. I wouldn't necessarily say that this reminds me of Brooklyn. Uh, I've been there a number of times on vacation. It doesn't strike me as like I spray it on and I go like, oh, that's Brooklyn. But really, I'm not sure many fragrances can do that. Maybe Carlos would know better though. If Carlos has smelled this and it reminds him of Brooklyn, he knows better than me. Rating wise, Brooklyn by Gallivant kind of borders between good and very good. I kind of struggle to say that it's a very good release, that it's something that you definitely have to try. But if it sounds interesting to you, definitely do check it out. I don't think you'll be disappointed. All right guys, that is Brooklyn by Gallivant. Uh, the brand actually really does interest me, so I may try to pick up another one of these at some point, or sample them at least to see if one of their other offerings really grabs hold of me. If you've smelled this one, let me know what you think about it. As always, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys next time.